Hey there, everybody. So I want to sit down and make you aware is make you aware of there is some Bitcoin scam going on. So I've talked about, or I made previous video of how, as a creator content person like me who do create content on the video, that we are a target to these hijackers. Uh, these hijackers will target us. They will try to... try to be pretend they a software company. So they will make us download a software that will hijack our session uh, from our internet browser and get cookies. Uh, or they will try hijack by sending email or try be t try send a bit ten email that oh there is an issue on your YouTube channel if you want to see the issue click that link you be redirected to a login page which the login page is not YouTube basically it's a page that will grab you log in information to, well, it will grab all that stuff. So when that stuff gets, gets hijacked, or once the information gets hijacked, this is where all these hijacks will come into play. So depending on the YouTube channel, some, there are cases where, <clears throat> Well, they will live stream off the bat, or they wait like a few days to stream weirdness, or actually, it may take a few days for them to live stream something. So, when they, when they do store, this is well, they will try to scam you out of this. Depending if you're type of person that don't notice anything, you know, if you did, if you so focus on that Bitcoin, um, you definitely need to check on the YouTube channel, see if it's a YouTube channel that got hijacked from the creator, because right now, these hijack on, like I said, they try to target us, they try to target us so they can get money and one of the way they try to get money is advertising Bitcoin so with Bitcoin depending if you type what's in that yeah I don't know how you run your life if you kind of get so focused on the Bitcoin value you know there's some people that no Bitcoin value that goes up and down. So, but being Bitcoin does have a value to them. Um, it does attract a lot of people. It attracts people who don't know about this stuff. And when they do that, they end up <laughs> they end up <laughs> getting their money scam out of it. And it's that when they run the, when they when they live stream or when they hijack by live streaming a video, that that's where they try to do advertisement of if you spend a certain amount, you get Bitcoin back. But and eh, but in reality, you're not gonna get your Bitcoin that you were hoping to invest. You're not gonna get that. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> But like I said, if you type person do kind of pay attention to to detail. So the thing you will notice when these go around is when you on a page, if you end up clicking the video and watching it, if you watch the video closely, or if you look around. Things that you might notice is the interaction comment. That will be disabled right off the bat. Then when you visit the person 
YouTube channel, you know, if you click each person that do upload to this YouTube platform, YouTube will put a username bottom corner of the video along with a photo of their face or a logo for the YouTube channel. And normally it's next, the photo of one of those two would be next to the username. So if you click on that, when you land on their YouTube homepage, you will notice the pin of the channel was into making playlists or not. But normally if they did create a playlist, you will notice the video is private. Then if you go to the video gallery, you will notice one videos. And normally, one video normally don't catch any attention. You normally have to have at least a lot of content on your channel to have a huge amount of subscribers. So, um, so when they do that, they're trying to get you mostly pay attention, which... When they do that, it does cause some people who do have a great or of who do pay attention to the little detail stuff. And normally, if they notice a little detail, then this is well, a lot of people get very curious, and that's where a lot of people will, you and me, will look at this stuff. It's like, yeah, this YouTube channel look like been hijacked. And, you know, you can tell by looking at when, the, if you go about the ballot page, this is where you will notice how long the YouTube channel has been around. And depending if the YouTube channel has been around long enough, you will notice the channel, depending if the creator did decide to take advantage of taking, well, take advantage of creating a URL, you normally can notice this is uh, a channel that got hijacked by the... If the person did create a, a URL address for the YouTube channel or not. So, so that's one of the things that you will notice. So, please, the, if you're a new person, if you stumble across it, be aware of this stuff. Fortunately, a lot of channel got really destroyed really badly with this Bitcoin live stream stuff going around. And unfortunately, I love to post this video on this platform. The only bad situation that you will run into or if you do have any issue is the lack of support or if you do, you have to be part of a program and when you do, you have then you have option to get support. The support program that this platform do offer is not. I I think there could be some improvement on that because when you're off of that program, then you lose contact. So. That is one of the drawback of this platform and I wish there is some improvement as we go along, kind of maybe offer some YouTube user or maybe offer them a, uh, a separate email address that a creator can create easily. So if the email address is attracting a lot, they can easily change their email address in their uh, YouTube account or find a way to separate their email address from their, from their, uh, their Google account, uh, being how these phishing emails are pretty good at stealing our login information, so that is one of the bad thing about this too, and 
when your YouTube channel does have a lot of bad community strike and against your channel, the awesome situation that, um, depending if you do have, if you're part of the program or not, but if you do have part of it, um, your channel is so screwed up that you might have to start all over again. Or if you're lucky enough to be part of that porno program, if you do, then the YouTube support people would have to create you a new YouTube channel and transfer your content over or transfer your video content over to the, <laughs> over to the, uh, to your new YouTube channel and that stuff is, is kind of a nightmare to deal with, um, because, like I said, it's, <laughs> there was a lot of glitches, glitches that will knock you out of that program pretty easily, and then when you do it, it, it will, you, you will lose contact, uh, with the YouTube support, so, um, and I do recommend just, it, it this situation is so bad enough, it's, there needs some, like I said, there needs some, needs some improvement of recovering the YouTube channel in some way. Because, um, it's bad enough to have people report the YouTube channel. And when these people do it, it right now it just, it's really a mess. And it's, it's, for me it's, <laughs> Every time people report it, 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 it does make a chance for the person to recover on their YouTube channel from this. It, it doesn't give them uh, a greater chance of it. So, um, <laughs> it's end up giving them less of a chance to recover their YouTube channel. So, I do kind of regret or I kind of cringe to see as a YouTube creator or kind of recommend that but unfortunately these lives they need to be stopped before other people kind of fall into that stuff so um so it's kind of right now it's kind of a mess it's which it is happening <laughs> I did want to sit down and did make a video because I have a video that I had, I had a live stream video recommended to me. So being that I had a live stream video recommended to me, I decided why not sit down and kind of talk about it, and make more of a well of this stuff because obviously I think this. Uh, I think of as a creator contents. Us who's getting a huge subscribe base and all that stuff, making a good career. We are becoming a more of a target for these hijackers, unfortunately. So, at this point, so. <sighs> yeah. So, anyway. I will say thank you for watching the video. So. Please check out any other video too, so if, you, if the video caught your interest and if you're more interest of checking out other video on my YouTube channel, feel free to do so. But if you don't know how to, there's two ways, depending if you what you interest in. So if you're interested more of checking out other video, strictly you can look at the bottom corner. No, well, I'm saying that. Bottom in the video notes, there is a link that will redirect you over to the video gallery. Then, another direction too, if you're more interested in following my social link and supporting the YouTube channel too. Um, if you're more interested in checking that out, all you need to do is look at the bottom corner, like I said earlier ago. If you do want to check out other people's video, or if you want to check out their homepage, see what other stuff they have, bottom corner of the video, 
There should be a photo of my face, and next to the photo should be a username Michael Tech Room. So if you do click on that, you'll be redirected over to my YouTube homepage. So like I said, I do have um, social link and support, which I do have. I have many ways of supporting the YouTube channel. So like, uh, I do have a PayPal uh, donation button. So if you're not interested of using that I do have another option of supporting the YouTube channel if you don't want to use PayPal but anybody who don't mind uh, using the PayPal to support the YouTube channel and I don't ask anybody to donate a huge amount so don't feel like you do have to but anybody who did support the YouTube channel uh, let me know if you're interested of having a shout out or not so uh, let me know uh, well, if PayPal do allow you to leave a little note or not, so. Um, but if PayPal doesn't give you an option to send a little note, I do have an email uh, below the video if you, wanna, uh, if you want to have a shout out. Or, yeah, if you want to have a shout out. So let me know if you do so. Uh, then... If you don't check out the YouTube homepage, if you want to still check out the video gallery, there's a video tab that will redirect you, same as the link in the video notes, so, but, um, yeah, once you're done checking out, if the video caught your interest, feel free to subscribe, if it does, if you're interested in following along, so if you can enable the bell, bell notification, do make sure you have the setting on correctly. Depending on what device you, you can have the notification on because if you don't have the notification uh, setting on correctly you not re receive no uh, notifications so make sure you have that on correctly uh, then give the video a like or dislike uh, check out the video note below the video click on show more because if you don't all you guys see is a link to the video gallery but if we do click on show more channel email address uh amazon wishes another way to support uh i don't want to ask anybody to buy the most expensive item for the youtube channel whatever was the cheapest will go a long way for the youtube channel and feel free to let me know with the Amazon uh, wish note, let me know if you're interested of having a shout out or not. So, let me know. Uh, then, uh, community detective form. So, if you want to sign up with one of those community detective forms, feel free to say hi. So, if you have any positive comment, uh, feel free to post it below the video if you want to start a conversation or as long as positive. If you have if you don't have nothing positive to say, feel free to take it to a place that I'm not likely going to see it, so, but anyway, catch you next time with hopefully some project video, alright?